25%, a number likely sparking varied reactions from everyone watching. This is the score Elon Musk assigned to S33, reflecting its performance against the mission's goals following its dramatic conclusion in the last flight. But what exactly did S33 accomplish before its explosive finale? Was this mission a success or a failure? And more importantly, what steps must SpaceX take to achieve greater success in future flights? Join us as we explore these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Compared to previous flights, Flight 7 stands out due to the stark contrast in achievements between its two stages. While Super Heavy successfully landed for the second time using the Mechazilla arms, performing an even cleaner landing than in Flight 5, the ship's journey ended prematurely with numerous issues. Many comments and discussions followed the flight, but perhaps the most insightful summary came from Elon Musk himself. On X, Musk stated, The booster flight was a success. The ship flight was a quarter successful. Hence, cup being around five-eighths full. According to Musk's calculation, the flight is scored out of a maximum of eight points, with each stage contributing up to four points. Super Heavy earned a perfect four out of four, reflecting its flawless performance. However, the ship earned only one-fourth, which translates to 25% success. Where does this 25% come from? Musk elaborated further, new ship forward flaps, higher thrust engines, and tile adherence on ascent were tested. First, the forward flaps demonstrated their effectiveness in guiding the ship during ascent. This is a significant advancement for SpaceX, validating the improvements made in V2, or version 2, of the Starship design. Notably, the forward flaps are now positioned closer to the ship's tip and leeward side with a sleeker, sharper design that enhances their aerodynamic impact. Second, the engines achieved higher thrust levels despite no changes to their version. Although the Raptor 2 engines are rated for a maximum thrust of 7,590 tons, SpaceX typically operates them at slightly over 7,000 tons. This flight likely pushed the engines closer to their limits as a deliberate test. Even more noteworthy is that these engines were reused from Flight 5, showcasing the long-term reusability and reliability of the Raptor engines. Finally, upgrades to the heat shield demonstrated progress, particularly in tile adherence. This has been a persistent challenge for Starship, especially during the first flight, and was a key concern with the transition to V2. However, Flight 7 showed improvements in this area, helping to dispel doubts about the heat shield's durability. Additionally, SpaceX removed nearly 50 tiles for this test and experimented with a metallic heat shield, further expanding their understanding of thermal protection systems. These achievements, although partial, represent significant progress for the ship. Despite the early termination of the flight, accomplishing so many objectives in a short amount of time is commendable. The 25% score may seem modest, but it provides a solid foundation for future flights and SpaceX's quest for 100% success. Show your support for SpaceX's efforts by responding with the 100 icon in the comment section down below. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's journey as they continue to refine the ship and the entire Starship system for upcoming flights. Together, let's cheer them on toward their ultimate goals in space exploration. In order to achieve complete success and a fully operational Starship program, SpaceX must address several remaining issues and implement solutions efficiently. These challenges span untested systems, existing problems, and regulatory compliance. One key untested feature is the improved heat shield performance, which Musk recently highlighted. The heat shield's primary function is to protect the spacecraft during re-entry, one of the most demanding phases of flight. Version 2 of the heat shield introduces significant upgrades compared to V1, including the removal of tiles in some areas, the introduction of a metallic heat shield, and a new cooling system. While these enhancements show promise, they must be validated under real re-entry conditions to ensure their effectiveness. Only through a successful re-entry can SpaceX confirm the shield's ability to endure extreme temperatures and protect the spacecraft. Re-entry also puts the forward flaps to the test. Although these flaps performed well during earlier phases of flight, their navigation capabilities and structural resilience during re-entry remain unverified. Re-entry stresses will reveal whether the forward flaps can reliably steer and stabilize the spacecraft, especially given their upgraded design. Understanding their behavior during this critical phase is essential for refining their performance. Another untested system is the PEZ payload dispenser designed to deploy satellites efficiently. 
Flight 7 was set to use this system to launch simulated Starlink satellites, marking an important milestone for SpaceX's payload deployment capabilities. A successful test of the PEZ dispenser is critical to demonstrate its reliability and pave the way for future missions involving real payloads. Beyond testing unproven systems, SpaceX must resolve existing technical problems. A significant issue arose during Flight 7 with an oxygen-slash-fuel leak in the ship's engine firewall. This leak caused pressure to exceed the vent system's capacity, likely originating from a sea-level engine failure. The failure led to a rapid sequence of events, a sharp drop in fuel, a fire in the engine area, cascading shutdowns of other sea level and vacuum engines, and the eventual activation of the flight termination system. To address this, Musk proposed several upgrades, including improved leak detection, enhanced fire suppression systems, and increased venting capacity. Additionally, reinforcing the fuel lines and engines would add another layer of reliability. Simplifying the design and adding protective layers to these critical systems could further minimize risks. The aft flaps also present a concern after a small fire was observed during ascent. Unlike the forward flaps, the aft flaps have not undergone significant design changes in V2, making them more vulnerable. Their ability to endure reentry stresses is uncertain, particularly given the fire incident. Strengthening these flaps, possibly through design changes, repositioning, or material upgrades, could enhance their resilience and support reentry navigation. Damage to the ship's wall during ascent is another issue that SpaceX must address. This type of damage could jeopardize payload integrity and worsen during reentry. Reinforcing the walls with additional stringers or secondary protective layers could mitigate this risk and improve overall structural reliability. Even though SpaceX successfully caught the Super Heavy booster, maintaining this capability will be a significant challenge. Routine inspections of the booster and the catching system are essential to ensure continued success. Any weaknesses in this critical system could lead to setbacks, similar to the challenges faced in Flight 6. Preventative maintenance and iterative improvements will be crucial for sustaining this innovative approach. In addition to technical upgrades, SpaceX must manage the aftermath of the Flight 7 explosion and complete its work with the FAA. The FAA has noted concerns about debris potentially falling outside the designated hazard warning area. The flight path map suggested debris might have drifted toward the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, while SpaceX has asserted that debris fell within the planned area, reports and images of thermal tiles washing ashore on Turks and Caicos suggest otherwise. Addressing this issue promptly is critical to maintain operational integrity and prevent complications for future launches. The mishap investigation, led by SpaceX under FAA oversight, is another pressing matter. In previous cases, such investigations have taken considerable time, potentially delaying subsequent missions. However, recent FAA reforms and the unique circumstances of this issue make the timeline uncertain. Factors such as the complexity of the problem and the efficiency of collaboration between SpaceX and the FAA will play significant roles in determining the speed of resolution. Accelerating this process will be vital for minimizing disruptions to the Starship program. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to rapid progress. The company's iterative development approach allows it to identify and address issues quickly, incorporating lessons learned into subsequent designs. For instance, upgrades to the heat shield, flaps, and fuel systems can be implemented on future prototypes such as Ship 34, which is still in development. This proactive approach demonstrates SpaceX's ability to adapt and innovate in response to setbacks. Regulatory support will also be crucial for SpaceX's continued progress. The FAA has made significant improvements in recent years, streamlining its processes to accommodate the rapid pace of Starship flights. Government agencies, congressmen, and NASA have expressed strong support for SpaceX, recognizing the company's pivotal role in advancing U.S. space exploration capabilities. This backing will likely expedite regulatory approvals and facilitate ongoing development. All in all, SpaceX faces a series of technical and regulatory challenges that must be addressed to achieve its ambitious goals. The untested heat shield, forward flaps, and PEZ payload dispenser must undergo rigorous testing to demonstrate their capabilities. Existing issues, such as the engine firewall leak, aft flap vulnerability, and wall damage require targeted upgrades and solutions. Maintaining the success of the Super Heavy Booster catching system will also demand consistent effort and innovation. Additionally, SpaceX must manage the fallout from the Flight 7 explosion and navigate the FAA's mishap investigation efficiently.
By addressing these challenges, SpaceX can continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. Its ability to innovate rapidly, coupled with strong regulatory support, positions the company as a leader in the aerospace industry. Each step forward brings humanity closer to a future where spaceflight is routine and accessible, unlocking new possibilities for exploration, scientific discovery, and interplanetary travel. Through determination, ingenuity, and collaboration, SpaceX is well-equipped to overcome these obstacles and redefine what is possible in space exploration. The road ahead will be crucial for SpaceX as they prepare for Flight 8, currently scheduled for February. With just weeks to go, the team must work at an accelerated pace to ensure everything is ready. Presently, the hardware is undergoing rigorous testing. Additionally, SpaceX must fulfill the FAA's requirements stemming from the mishap investigation. The challenges are indeed significant. Maintaining Super Heavy's 100% success rate, improving ship's current 25% success rate, and aiming to achieve the remaining 75% on the next flight. All eyes are on SpaceX as they strive for 100% success and set the stage for what promises to be a groundbreaking year for Starship. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.